Division is the opposite of multiplication. What does opposite mean? It means the reverse. To reverse multiplication, let's think back to our multiplication success strategies. If we consider multiplication to be repeated addition, to reverse the process, we must do repeated subtraction. Let's look at this in action. In this multiplication sentence, we see that 4 times 6 is 24. 4 groups of 6 makes 24 items. The number of groups in a multiplication sentence tells us how many groups we'll be adding in our addition sentence. In this addition sentence, we'll add 4 groups of 6 to make 24. But what about our subtraction sentence? To divide by repeated subtraction, we'll subtract groups of 6 until we reach 0. The number of groups in a subtraction sentence is the answer to our division sentence. We subtracted 4 groups of 6 from 24 in order to reach 0. Written as a division sentence, it looks like this. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 24 contains 4 groups of 6. Notice that each group is the same size. This is very important. Repeated addition and subtraction are not the only methods we can use to divide. We can also use number lines to divide visually. If our multiplication sentence is 4 times 5 equals 20, we can observe a number line and say that it takes 4 jumps of 5 in order to get to 20. To make a division sentence from a number line, we go backwards. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. In other words, how many jumps of 5 does it take to go from 20 to 0? It takes 4. Examine this number line and think about what division sentence is represented here. We see 5 jumps of 3 spaces each to get to 15. 15 is made up of 5 jumps of 3 or 5 groups of 3. As numbers, we could say that 15 divided by 5 equals 3. In these sentences, we place the size of each jump on the far side of the equal sign and divide by the number of jumps. Today we're going to talk about one more method of dividing, called the partial quotients method. A quotient is the answer to a division sentence, just like the product is for a multiplication sentence. This method is useful for dividing very large numbers that render other methods impractical. The partial quotients method functions by breaking down one large problem into a few smaller problems using our knowledge of multiplication facts. For example, dividing 354 by 6. How many 6's are contained within 354? We know that 6 times 100 equals 600. So 6 times 50 equals 300. That means there are 6 50's in 300. Now that we know how many 50's are in 300, we can disregard that part of the problem. Three hundred and fifty-four minus three hundred is fifty-four, so we'll turn our attention to how many sixes there are within fifty-four. Turning to our multiplication facts, we know that there are nine sixes in fifty-four. Fifty-four minus fifty-four is zero, so we know that we finished the problem. Let's tie everything together. We know that six times nine is fifty-four and 6 times 50 is 300, which means that 6 times 59 is 354, because 50 plus 9 is 59. Therefore, there are 59 sixes contained within 354.